hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a page cover so let's get started so the paper size i'm going to use today in this tutorial is a4 paper size landscape all right so here we are then i'm going to set up my guideline here is going to be 50 percent then 45 percent and 95 percent all right having done this then you go to the horizontal then you grade five percent and 95 percent okay so i'm going to do this one manually so here are the important one so if you want you can do it to the other right okay then at the images and the test are the ear Now draw a rectangle over here. Then you copy this color code. Then control V to paste. Okay. Now come back here. This is the font I'm using. Then copy the church name. Select your test to Ctrl V to paste. Then leave it here. Okay, reduce the font size. Then bring this logo. Then position is over here. Increase it a bit. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then copy this color code. All right, now we have the color here. can see so okay to so apply the stroke then you copy this test here then you can duplicate this one ctrl j Then control V to paste. Then drag it out to make it bigger. All right. Then now you have to close the character space a bit. Like this is okay. 
then increase it again then copy this ctrl c to copy hold your shift key then you close this side so that your alignment will be properly centered now adjust the logo Now click here, then paste, Ctrl V, then change the color to white. Then drag it over here. Scale it out. It's okay. Then bring it over here. Then come back to copy your test. Then control V to paste. Then scale it out. Apply vertical alignment. Duplicate this one again. Then you drag it down. Select it. Then you come. Oh, the test is not here. I'm going to type it manually. Then apply drop shadow. So these are the things you will use. Okay. Then what I did is to hold my alt key, then you drag it upon the other test and it will apply. Then copy this one. Ctrl V to paste. Then you reduce the font size. Apply vertical alignment. Now drag the shadow by holding your Alt key to apply automatically. Then you copy your test again. Then I'm going to change this color, which I copy. Then this is the color. Now Ctrl J to duplicate. You drag this one down. Select the test, right click and copy, then Ctrl V to paste.
then group it group this one and you group this one again so I'm coming back for the background then copy this one then draw a rectangle here then ctrl v to paste the color code draw another rectangle again make it white color then i'm going to apply a shape at the left top corner and at the right bottom corner i'm using 363 this way then i will also apply the same thing to this one all right then reduce the opacity so okay like this then you copy this test here then select your test tool then click on drag then ctrl v to paste then copy this one again right click to copy then click and drag your text tool then ctrl v to paste again select this one then and make it semi board so that is it apply center alignment to it Then select it and group it. Now I'm going to bring in these background images. Then drag it up. It's okay like this. Then go to your filter blow then reduce it reduce it again i think it's okay like this then i'm going to blend it use linear light So you will have something like this. Then I'm going to reduce the adjust the blur again. I think it's okay like this. Let's leave it this way. Then apply your layer mask. Go to your gradient tool, then to blend over here, then go back again to bring this image, then you scale it out, position it like this, 
Then go back to your blur, Gaussian blur. Then you reduce the number. I think like this will be okay. Then you drag it to background. So you can apply a clipping mask if you want. Or you leave it like this. So, okay. Now we have blended, this is how it come out. Open the character space a bit. So, this is what you have. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate. Remember to subscribe, like and share. Also comment in any area that you see for improvements. Thank you so much.